All right, guys, I'm out here at OCN with my friend Tyler McGee. Um, I need some work on my swing, Tyler, big time. So uh, You know what? I'm happy to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> we were chatting last night, so kind of um, in a nutshell. Yeah. I've had some problems with my neck uh, for years, many, many years. And so it took some time for me to figure this out, but a lot of it comes from uh, a teeth grinding issue I have while I'm asleep, a bit of a teeth clenching issue I have. Yeah. Uh, part of kind of some of the mental health issues that I have, it, it kind of comes hand in hand. So I'd never had proper treatment for it until probably, you know, the last few months. Yeah. Um, so a couple things I've done, I do wear a night guard at times when I notice that I'm grinding my teeth. Yeah. And uh, I actually had Botox injections done twice now. Um, and it's basically to relax that jaw muscle that's overactive. So long story short, the repercussions of doing that for so many years untreated locked up my neck. It's given me all kinds of back issues, shoulder issues, yeah. and I wasn't aware of it. Um, and it's something that obviously has affected my golf swing. Of course. And like from hanging out with the guys at the vault and watching people swing, like yeah. the neck is so key for rotation, right? So if, if you're not able to move uh, through the neck, you're going to have to find range somewhere else exactly so it's and golf in a nutshell there's so many things that affect so many things so this will be really interesting uh today and so i haven't really practiced well i haven't practiced in quite a while to be perfectly honest yeah. uh obviously off season been fortunate to do a bit of travel so i haven't really been watching my numbers i'm kind of looking at this as a bit of a fresh start for the year Beautiful. Um, and i'm curious just like how my movement patterns maybe have changed or what i'm capable of that maybe i couldn't do before yeah as part of the in, uh the injury so I'm um, going to kind of leave it to you to take a look and tell me what you think. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. All right. So I got eight iron. Okay. That oh, one felt pretty good. Oh. Felt good too. That launch. It's coming out high, isn't it? Coming out high, yeah. So when I was watching it, that's why I was wondering what you, like visually how it looked. Um, first thing I was thinking was coming out a little high. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm, the first thing I, I want to look at is like, okay, why is that happening? And then we'll Go sort there. of reverse engineer it a little bit. So you remember from some of the messages like I've texted you over the years, like I used to have a lot of trouble getting yes. any dynamic loft. And I'm always like, you know, I'm using 10, 11 degree drivers to try to save it. Yep. In the last month, I've actually like everything I can loft down. Yes. So I'm I'm not surprised to see that showing up. Like I, I don't know if it's just a restriction issue I had with you know my neck or my shoulder that was causing me to take the loft off it. Yeah. And maybe some of those compensations have come out and now I'm delivering quite a bit. Yes. So I'll, I guess I'll start easy. Sure. Okay, and then we'll sort of go from there. So if I look at this, okay. So that setup. So I would say knee position and hip position. If I look at how your right leg is, see yes. how it looks sort of pretty vertical. Sure, your left leg, your yeah. back leg, pretty vertical. Your lead leg angled away from the target. So I know, mm. I know that that would be as a lefty. You're a little bit this way. So if you're already sort of preset that right. So again, we're tying it back to okay, what's causing the launch to be a little up. Uh -huh. Path was good. Speed was good. Strike the odd time a little thin. Yeah. So. The first thing I'm like, okay, well, if we move the pelvis this way a little bit, let's see what it does for launch. You let's know? clean that up a bit. Okay, yeah. makes sense. Got a lot of action behind us here. There is. Okay, so move basically my my right side into the, my. Yeah, you're gonna be. You'll feel probably more pressure in your lead leg. Okay, how's that there? That looks a lot better. You this will look more, you know, more neutral more when I'm looking at. It. I'll just take a picture. Sure. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Let's start with that. Oh, yeah. Right away, like the strike felt way better. And I'll show you that's this. Yeah, it's just very neutral, isn't it? Yeah, nothing crazy. Interesting. Yeah, I've not, definitely gotten I mean, in the habit of. Does it feel of, crazy? Not at all. Okay. No. I, honestly, it makes sense because I get in the habit of leaning back on it because I get into long irons in the driver. Yeah. And I was so used to not being able to launch it and spin it enough. Yeah. I think I just got like lazy with it and tried to compensate it address. That makes a ton of sense. Yeah. yeah. Now that you're moving a little bit more efficiently, the loft delivered is obviously different. And so you to, don't. You don't need to preset so much backwards. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, how different feels, is that? It's like night and day. See, that's, and then you look from behind. So see now that the lead lead hip is not. Mm. So if you look, if I look from behind at the start, you would have been, for you. That way. Th this way, a little bit. Like your lead, your trail hip would have been higher than your lead hip. Interesting. Because most of your pressure was on your back foot. That's really interesting. You know, so that, see how your spine looks too? Like yeah. now you're just slightly behind it. No, it just looks natural, right? That's, yeah. Yeah, it looked awkward the first one you sent me or showed me that actually 
I wasn't aware of how much I was, and it also looked like I was a bit open too, like open and lean back. Yes, exactly. Which makes sense because I get in the course and I almost feel like oh, I don't want to pull the ball. Yeah. Now I can see why I hit a lot of pulls because if anything, I was kind of pre. You're already set that way. To hit it open, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those feel really good. Definitely looks like it wants to be a little bit more of a left start with a little totally. more into out right and I now, think, but it's fine. I think like, it's fine because especially I think I'm almost like, because I've been so open, I've almost been getting to impact and like going, like hanging on to the yeah. face at times. Yeah. So now I can just probably just let it go a bit Yeah, more. let's see, give me a couple more and then we'll just keep building on this.